hello guys welcome and thank you for joining me again today so in today's video we are going to continue with our study abroad series and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you three important search engines that you can make use of when you're planning your study abroad so one important step to take note of when you want to decide on the country you want to go to or the university that you want to go to is the school search and this is a lot of work Searching for the university that suits your need is a lot of work. You need to put in the work. You need to be intentional about this step because it is very crucial in your application. So without further ado, let's get right into the details for today. So the number one search engine that I'm going to recommend is Google. Google is your friend. Aside searching for a university that you would like to study in, Anytime you have any question regarding any topic, Google should always be your number one option before asking somebody else. In case you have like questions about something and you don't really know how to go about it, the number one thing I would advise is that just go to Google and type in your question. Most times you are going to get the answer that you need to this problem. So after doing that, if you are not satisfied with your answer, then you can go ahead to ask people that know more about these things. When you're making use of Google to search for universities that you would like to apply to, first thing you need to um, decide the course that you want to study. You need to also make a decision on the country that you want to go for. And definitely you need to make a decision if you're going for a master's degree or if you're going for PhD. For example, if you want to study, let's say, food science in, um, let's say, the United Kingdom, and you're going for a master's degree, so you can just put in those search words. Irrespective of how you put in this word, just ensure that these three keywords, master's, um, food science, that is your course, and also the country that you're going to ensure that these three keywords are imputed in the search um, in the search box so when you put this so it could be something like a master's degree in food science or food science master's degree in united kingdom so you are going to see a lot of options you are going to see a lot of schools offering this course and in order to make your search easier i'm going to link up um, a spreadsheet that i created you can download this spreadsheet you can print it out you can also work with it on your computer so that when you are searching for schools, you can make use of this spreadsheet to impute all the important details that you are going to need, such as um, application fee, in case your school has an application fee, if you have an application fee waiver, or if there is a particular requirement you need to meet in order to get an application fee waiver, if you need to contact a supervisor, if you need to have like an English proficiency test, or if there is a kind of arrangement or if it can be waived you know all those important requirements you need to put in all those important requirements into the spreadsheets so this is going to help you you are making um like a final decision on the school that you want to go to based on the requirements that you have because it's not going to make a lot of sense after searching you know after putting in the work hours days in order to look for universities and then you don't even have anywhere that you, um anywhere you've written like all these universities down and you don't even know which one you want to go for because you are confused about the requirements but if you have all of these requirements written down somewhere so after making all your search you can just go to the documents and just look through the documents and then decide okay do i have this requirement can i meet this requirement because it's not going to be good when a school is asking for let's say same requirement and you only meet up with two of the requirements whereas there is another university that is requesting for just five requirements and you have even more than the five requirements so this is going to help you to filter out your options and look for the university that is best also when you are searching for university you can make use of qs word ranking and US News and World Report to um, check for the ranking of each university. So this can also help you to apply to universities that are renowned, either in a particular field of study or maybe generally. Another important search engine or website that you can make use of, this website has been of 
great use to me when I was searching for universities is study portals. And the beautiful thing about study portals is that study portals have like different sections. So study portal is like a general name, whereas they have like different category under study portals. So if you are going to study for bachelors, you can go to bachelor's portal, master's portal for those going for master's degree. There's PhD portals for those that want to go for short courses or even distance learning courses. They have like different sections. They even have a section for scholarship where you can check for some available scholarship. And another beautiful thing about study portal is that study portals also have a scholarship that they themselves give to students. So if you make use of their website to search for the university that you're applying to, you can also apply for the scholarship. And who knows, you might get the scholarship and this is also going to help you towards funding your study abroad dream so when you go on study portals you need to create an account with them and then just go around the website the website is pretty straightforward it is very easy to use they have many features when you go on to the website create an account with them and then you can start searching for universities based on the course that you want to study you can use the filter option you can search for the course that you want to go for based on different countries and another feature that um study portal has is that you can also see the tuition fee like the tuition fee that you're supposed to pay as an international student so this is also going to help you to decide that okay can i afford this tuition fee do i want to look at what this university has to offer me so this website is really really good if you are looking forward to study abroad so just making use of study portals and google only is more than enough for you to get good schools outside the country that you can apply to and then the last website that i'm going to share i'm going to put the um, the link in the description box and i'm also going to display it on the screen this website is useful if you have plans of studying in europe so if your own plan is europe like you don't want to check out any other country you can make use of this website go to the website from the website you can go to the country that you would love to study in so for example if you want to study in poland there's this website i'm always saying study.gov.pl so if you go to this website from there this website is also going to in case in case you want to study in poland for example the website is going to direct you to study.gov.pl and so from there you can get universities that you can apply to in a particular country so this these are for countries that are part of the european union and we have like um 33 thereabouts on the website so you have like 33 countries including turkey in case you want to study in turkey another important website that you can make use of this one is particularly for those coming to study in poland and this is not for you to search for school but I'm putting this out there because someone recently contacted me and she was scammed by a university that does not exist in Poland. So in order to avoid this kind of situation, I know that if you use study.gov.pl, the universities that you are going to get there are universities that exist. Because when the person reached out to me and the person gave me the name of the university, I've forgotten the name of the university now, but I will check and put it on the screen so that somebody else does not fall victim of this university. I searched I searched for the university on study.gov.pl. The university is not even listed there. So for you to know that there are people out there that might scam you. And I mean, it's a lot, losing a lot of money. You want to study abroad. You are looking for the money. You are gathering money and then you are being scammed of the leads that you have i mean it's heartbreaking so in order to be double sure in order to be double sure you can make use of the website i'm going to put on the screen and also in the description box to confirm that okay this school is still accredited in poland i mean you know that there are schools that has been accredited and then i think after some years you can lose your accreditation you have to be like be accredited and things like that so after searching for schools for those that want to go to poland now after searching for schools on study.gov.pl or whatever means you, you are making use of, ensure you use this website also, putting the 
name of the university that you want to study in the same way it is written so if the name of the university is in polish ensure that you put it in polish if you put it in english you're not going to get any result so put it the exact way it is there are some universities in poland that um, the name is in english whereas there are some universities in poland that their name is in polish but they have like an english translation so if you make use of the english translation it's not going to work so just put in the name of the university you are going to get all the details that you need about the university so you are going to know that okay this university exists in poland i am safe i can go ahead and apply to this university so please don't fall victim that is why <laughs> that is why just to add again that is why anytime anyone asks me I want to study in Poland. Can you recommend school? I always direct them to study.gov.pl. I don't even advise people to make use of Google if they want to study in Poland. Just go to study.gov.pl. All the universities that exist in Poland are there. So I hope this video is going to um, be useful for someone out there. So three important search engine or website that you can make use of when you are planning to study abroad. Google your number one friend study port house and also for those that want to study in countries under the european union so this is going to be the end of this video please don't forget to like share with your friends share with your family and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i'm going to see you guys in my next one bye for now